stock management now and get high percentage looks. When you say that you're in a five point game, you know, the clock is in your favor, but you must answer defensively by holding San Antonio to one shot attempt. If you can force a turnover, great. If not, hold them to one shot attempt. Through the playoffs this year, in the last two minutes of the fourth quarter, that's pretty good. The Spurs' opponents have not made a three-pointer, and San Antonio defends the three phenomenally well. They have all year long. Their opponents took by far the fewest three-point shots this year, and one of the reasons is, I mean, San Antonio puts an emphasis on defending the three-point shot. Well, they're one of the quickest that we have in the league out in foot speed, in closing you out on the perimeter. They run drills for that. Then they force you to put the ball on the floor because they are an excellent front line rotation team with shot blocking. Tayshawn French will inbound. Now both teams are in the penalty right now. You're shooting the penalty. Detroit only has a 20 second time left. Chauncey Billups and he has it blocked way outside by Bowen. Now that was an incredible defensive play. Bowen charging, making the block. Under 40 to play. Ginobili. And that's going to make it a three possession game. Into the corner. Wallace bangs it home. Rasheed Wallace, 75 71 with 22.7. And you have to foul whoever gets it on the inbound play, and it happens to be Ginobili. Well, San Antonio is happy. The right guy is going to the foul line for you. Keep an eye on Bowen. See, he times this perfectly. He has a major height advantage on Billups. And at this end, the alley opened up, and this is the wrong guy because when Ginobili sees that, he's going. It's a big-time pressure shot by Rasheed. Now, going to the line, this is your only player throughout the season on your starting lineup that shot over 80% on the line. The other four guys were all in the 60s or lower. Manu Ginobili makes the first. And the Spurs, 22.1 seconds away from turning the river walk into Margaritaville. Not that it wouldn't be anyway, but you get the idea. Six-point lead. Larry Brown takes his final timeout. And Larry Brown, and you can only hope, for those of us who know him, and he's been around for so long that there are a lot of people who love him that everything comes up real clean with him and that he can go back and do what he loves and has been his life and that's the coach 33 years out 29 years of winning records that is unheard of at this level that's a very difficult thing to do he's coached at the college level at ucla in kansas He's coached two teams in the old ABA, Carolina Cougars, and then Denver, and then he's coached in the NBA. He is one of the truly great teachers in the history of basketball. Six-point San Antonio lead. Detroit cannot stop the clock on a timeout. No fouls to give. Rasheed Wallace, in and out, loose ball, out of bounds. The officials check with each other, Spurs will get it. Yeah, Detroit's all upset. They honestly thought it was off of uh, San Antonio. Now, from our angle, you could not tell. Main thing right now, San Antonio 
will try to put out there the best ball handlers and also their height, the guys that they think will make the foul shot. And Popovich takes a timeout. 18 seconds. Now, when they're challenging right now, they honestly thought that they had that possession. They would have had the ball with 18 seconds to go. Now, when Rasheed Wallace shoots this, all right, it's an almost, that ball goes right off of the foot of Ben Wallace. So the referees are correct. Excellent call. 18 ticks. Well, we said that San Antonio must get back to their defense that they put out in games one and two. Well, with six minutes to go in that third quarter, we saw that old San Antonio tenacity come back. Because from that point on, and out through this fourth quarter, Detroit has struggled to get a good look at a shot, whether it was a jump shot or a drive to the basket. They won it in 99. That was a shortened year because of the lockout. They won it two years ago against New Jersey. Not trying to do it again. Seventy-seven to seventy-one. One benefit of that timeout. You inbound the ball in front court and Duncan to send it in. Detroit's got to go for the steal and then they'll probably go for a quick foul. And then for force the guy to make the foul. So there's Ori and they have to foul him and then Wallace comes out to wrap him up and send him to the free throw line. So a series that started out with a route in each game, winds up with a classic game five, a great game six, and a hard fought, tightly contested, two possession game at the moment. At the end, Lori has 13 points, three out of four from the free throw line, 74% career free throw shooter. Well, Ori and Valley have really been. Outstanding off the bench. They made three threes between them, and now it's a total of 19 points with Robert being the main the main man. But Ginobili has 21 points here, very quietly out with the five rebounds and the four assists. He's done an excellent job, especially in the second half, to back up Duncan's production. And Ori has 15 points. And then Hamilton will go in and get fouled. So they, they give him a chance for a three-point play of all things there. Now, now that's a bad foul. Popovich is shaking his head. What are we doing? You make this foul shot right now. You back down into a five-point ball game. Big thing now. Get out. Do not assume that there'll be... Uh, any kind of a timeout. San Antonio has one 20-second timeout left. So what you do, if you make this now, you line up, you go for the steal, you do not get the steal, you foul immediately and hope that only one second goes off the clock. That was the fourth foul on Parker. Those were Hamilton's Look out first long. points of the period. The ball is thrown all the way down court, and Ginobili will pass up what would have been a layup to run out some of the clock with seven seconds. Now that was a heady play by Ginobili. Ginobili had his man face guarding him, and he made a move to the ball towards the baseline, stopped, and went long. Excellent pass. And then the presence of mind to run around a little bit, take a couple of more seconds off. He knows he's going to go to the free throw line. He's a good free throw shooter. And this would be the total dagger here because it would make it a three possession game at 80 to 74 it is 81 to 74 and the san antonio spurs with tough 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 defense and tim duncan answering a lot of questions and erasing 
any doubt about coming up big when you have to come up big. And for the third time in seven seasons, the San Antonio